Pisces, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. My name is Dee. So I'm not at my usual site, so don't mind the fact that I'm on the floor. The show must go on, but this is going to be for February 6th to the 15th. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not all the messages will resonate, and if you want something tailored specifically for you, the link for that is in the description box below. So let's take a look and see what you guys can expect. I could be picking up on the other person that you're dealing with. The first card that we have is Ace of Swords. Ten of Wands, Strength card in reverse, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, The Magician, The Hierophant, and The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, I can see you're in a commitment with somebody and there's something that you're dealing with that's stressing you out. It's causing you a lot of burdens. Whatever this is, it's like you go home every day just stressed out and feeling like you have a lot on your shoulders. You don't have the strength to do something right now. There may be something that you need to let go of or something that's keeping you restricted. And whatever this is, you need to find the strength to let it go. You may be holding on too tightly to whatever this is. It may even be a person. This person that you're in a commitment with has the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is very stable, grounded. They could have Earth placements in their chart. This is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and if they don't have earth placements, this just means that they have their finances in order, or it's someone that you view as grounded, um, someone that you view as someone that you can have a commitment with, and some, those of you that are single, there's some type of re revelation that you're going to have. Whatever this revelation is, it may cause you to end something, or it may cause you to just feel stressed out. There may be someone from the past that you have to release, and whoever this person is, they may want a new beginning with you, and you may be left with some type of choice. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is all about new beginnings. With this new beginning, there's a specific path that you need to take, and this could be in the form of a new job, new relationship, new car, new start, whatever this is, you've manifested it into your life. The Magician is all about having all the tools that you need in front of you to create whatever dream you have in mind um you just have to put effort and energy into it consistently this tells me with the magician that some of you are dealing with an aries while others you may be just receiving some type of truth or revelation when it comes to you know these burdens that you're carrying or whatever it is that's causing you to be stressed out some of you have to change the way that you think or just step outside of the rigid way of thinking about spirituality and religion and try to just venture off in other paths. With the Three of Pentacles, some of you are just focused on work, focused on having teamwork with this person that is the Queen of Pentacles. If this is a job situation, then there's someone that's causing you burdens or someone that you feel you need to release. This could be a coworker or a person that, you know, at first you had teamwork with this person, but now things have changed and you're feeling burdened dealing with whoever this individual is because of the fact that you've received some type of revelation about them. Let's get another deck. That way we can get a deeper understanding of what's going on. So why is the Ace of Swords here? There's some type of truth or clarity that's coming in about someone, you know, that you view as a harsh communicator, someone that you view um, as kind of rushed. This person tends to make rushed decisions without really thinking things through. There may be someone from the past who's angry either about the fact that you're wanting to move on or they're just angry about the fact that they're not being involved in your life the way that they used to. There was some type of permanent ending that went on. This was either due to a third party or due to the fact that, you know, someone just indulged in their addictions too much and, you know, betrayed you in some type of way or vice versa. Someone feels betrayed by you. But I feel like this could be the feminine energy in the situation because the Empress did come out. The Empress is Libra energy. And this tells me that there could be a mother figure that was interfering in the connection in the past. And someone now wants either to heal things through a new beginning or there's an offer or some type of apology that's going to come in. Because Valentine's Day is around the corner, um, I feel like some of you could be expecting communication from someone or just expecting things to be laid out on the table if there was some type of conflict that you were having with someone around you this conflict is going to be resolved in some type of way be wary or of manipulation either on your end or the other person's end because it's just going to cause more problems 
And with the three of pentacles coming out twice, some of you, um, your relationships being affected by work, either because there's so much time, effort, and energy that you're putting into work, and work and children on top of that tends to kind of take the time away from your partner. So you have to prioritize, you know, your relationship in some type of way because I feel like there's one person here who, who's doing all the work while the other person is MIA or just not in the picture because it didn't come out on this side. Some of you could be dealing with someone who has air placements. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, because the Queen of Swords is someone who is very rational. It would be a woman who's been through a lot in the past, and now they're wary of people, they're defensive, and they really guard their heart to avoid, you know, dealing with narcissistic energy or just toxic people. With the manipulation present, if there was someone in the past that was causing manipulation, there will be some type of renewal that comes in because whoever this person is that was exhibiting this type of behavior is kind of stuck. The universe had placed them in some type of stalemate energy where they're not able to move forward until they deal with this scenario. Now that we know what's going on, let's get you some best advice moving forward. All right. Best advice for my Pisces. Seven of Swords, be wary of deception, lies, trickery. Because I do see the devil card out here, I feel like there's going to be temptation or something that is low vibrational. That's going to be some type of obstacle either for you or the person that you're connecting with. Because with the deception and the lies... Someone here may be trying to behave like they're single or just focusing more on themselves, self-care, self-love, self-admiration, which may be a good thing, but it's not if you are if you are in a relationship with someone. Queen of Wands sometimes is mistress energy, so I feel like temptation is going to be present. And with this warning, someone here has a chance to, you know, make the right decision because despite the fact that you feel like you have healing present in this relationship... You see how there's this one red dot? I feel like this red dot has something to do with the sacral chakra. And someone here has some type of sexual addictions or just something, you know, could be porn that goes along the way of some trickery. That's, you know, it's right on top of the deception card and the lies and the devil card. So be wary of shadow energy. Don't keep secrets. Be straight up with everyone. Um, telling the truth is the best way to engage with people, but there may be a chance of competition you know conflict arguing ego trips because of someone trying to have third parties trying to you know flirt outside of the relationship or just trying to engage in behavior that's not necessarily positive all you can do right now is focus on yourself can't control other people all you can do is focus on yourself what you want go after your dreams go after your goals because there may be some type of tower moment I see a Five of Swords here, which tells me some type of mind games, trickery may, may be present because of this devil energy. So someone may be doing something in the background that's not pleasant, trying to juggle two people, two situations, two scenarios, and they're going to end up regretting this. It's the person that has earth placements in their chart. It's maybe, you know, a person between the ages of 20 and 35 who's trying to pursue a situation that's not going to work out. When instead, they, they should be focused on their fi their finances, their stability, their foundation, you know, their own prosperity and not trying to juggle two people. It keeps showing the same dynamic where there's one man in the middle juggling either two relationships or two dynamics that they're trying to have their cake and eat too. Same thing here, one person in the middle juggling two things. This is going to cause conflict. It may even cause, you know, a delay in the reunion. But just make the right decision and end the cycles that need to be ended because someone's dealing with a karmic or a karmic scenario where there's some type of addiction and you're not able to let it go for whatever reason. And that's the end of your reading. Let me know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.